how can you put yourself aside and and look at those things and and say I'm going to thrive in this environment and get rid of the things that we're so so used to so used to yeah um I really want to touch upon this because a lot of people um, after reading my post on, you know, like the initial struggles, like uh, did get in touch with me asking me about, so how, what did you do to kind of get out of that zone that get out of that mindset? And, um, you know, other than doing the usual um, people say meditate, work out and stuff like that. Um, so I do do a lot of meditation in the morning and do, it was extremely necessary in my opinion to get in a workout in the afternoon because i i said i looked back i sat back and i said let's break my day down right I, 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 sim something similar to what you were saying let's break my day down and um i said i have a morning half which goes quite well and you know i carry that whatever missed opportunities or what, whatever um concept that has not worked out i take that stress into my evening and that kind of affects my evening so i need to kind of break the cycle i need to break my day into two days so i said okay let's hit the gym and i got so used to hitting the gym as that was like my midday break of one hour just completely destroy yourself even though i should not completely destroy myself as you would in a gym you know i would just it would just be a mental exercise more than a physical exercise come back destroy some lunch and um, just get on with it again <laughs> and that 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 took me that took a huge leap in my productivity and the way i came back struggling on the concept that i was struggling before and just looking at it from a different perspective but also something that really allowed me to separate myself from the process was coming at night and almost like i remember for 4 to 6 months and you have to remember that this 6 months were the 6 months in which we were building the 2022 car so they were intense six months because, you know, we had, because of the previous year season, we had already started developing quite late. So everybody knows that, you know, people never thought Red Bull win come with a competitive car this year because of the amount of effort that we were putting in last year. So, um, so what landed up happening was, you know, we were working really hard at Red Bull and it was constant brainstorming and it would be late nights until 11, 12 were like common things. You'd come in at eight, leave at 11 or 12 at night. So um, what really helped me was after I came down, I still remember all lights out, just a small lamp on, silent music, right? And just telling myself, separating myself from the process, like telling myself that I am not the failure in concept that happened today. I am somebody who would come up with a new concept tomorrow, which I will try again tomorrow. You know, just separating yourself from the process as my mentor, and I want to talk about him a little bit more on this podcast, probably slightly later. But my mentor always told me, sure, you need to kind of not get emotional with this stuff. That was a big thing for me because I always considered like I'm the kind of guy who would walk in playing the F1 music in the background, like <laughs> for the first one month. I was super emotional with everything I was doing. And my mentor kind of realized that and he told me, stop getting emotional because A, it will, ju it will judge your it will cloud your judgment and B, what it will do is on most of the times in this job, you fail, then you succeed, you know, as an engineer, because you're trying stuff out, you're pushing the boundaries. So you will end up feeling like a failure most of the times, then the days where you will actually be super excited and super enthusiastic. And, and that kind of changed the way uh, I was looking at things. I had to stop being a bit emotional about everything I did and be more subjective and objective to kind of really extract the best out of the concepts and even conversations that we were having. Because a lot of time what happens in, um, in F1 is, and this is just not my experience, but even like seniors who would come, they would always tell me that people, you know, it's always like my concept, my baby, this is what I want on the car. And a lot of the senior management can quickly be like, this is the direction I want to follow. And some of the people that I would talk at Red Bull always talk about uh, at other teams, McLaren, Mercedes, you know, this is the philosophy that this person or this chief designer wanted on the car. And that's the reason the car is built that way. So uh, people get personal with their philosophies quite quickly. And um, at Red Bull, it was quite important for us to not get personal, but be objective with our goals because all of us were trying to make the car faster. So, so yeah, good stuff.